Meta will announce brand new features on Connect Conference. Meta Connect is right around the corner on September 27th, and we're expecting some big announcements about the future of VR and Meta's product roadmap. The star of the show will likely be the reveal of the Meta Quest 3, Meta's next generation standalone VR headset. I've got the latest scoop on what new features to expect Meta to announce for the Quest 3 at Connect 2023. First and foremost, we're expecting the official unveiling of the Quest 3's design, specs, pricing, and release date. Based on leaks and reports so far, the Quest 3 will support a noticeably slimmer and lighter design compared to the Quest 2. Meta says it will be around 40% thinner thanks to the new pancake lenses. In terms of performance, the Quest 3 will run on Qualcomm's cutting-edge Snapdragon XR2 platform. This chip will give around two times the power and graphics performance over the Quest 2. That means the ability to render prettier and more immersive VR worlds with greater detail and visual effects. The Snapdragon XR2 will really help the Quest 3 push to the limits of standalone VR graphics compared to its predecessor. The Quest 3's displays are rumored to be 1832 by 1920 resolution per eye, a nice bump up from Quest 2's 1832 by 1920 resolution combined between both eyes. By having high resolution displays for each eye, the Quest 3 should provide enhanced clarity with less noticeable pixels and screen door effect. And another big upgrade is the new touch controllers, dubbed Touch Pro. This will ditch the tracking ring around the controllers for a more ergonomic arch design. Haptics and finger tracking should also get an improvement with Touch Pro. This will allow for more natural hand presence and interactions in VR, closing the gap between virtual hands and your real movements. More responsive controls heighten the sense of immersion. One really cool feature that Meta could announce is mixed reality support on Quest 3. The advanced cameras on the headset let you see your real environment combined with virtual elements. This takes immersion to the next level by seamlessly blending real-world physical space with digital objects and overlays. Meta proved impressive mixed reality capabilities on the Quest Pro, so it would make sense for similar functionality to come to the new Quest 3 as well. With mixed reality, you could have virtual screens or web browser windows floating in your room that you can interact with using your hand, or play games where virtual enemies hide between real furniture. The possibilities for blending real and virtual are huge. It creates a new paradigm of spatial computing compared to being fully immersed in VR. Meta is likely to highlight Quest 3 games built specifically to take advantage of the added horsepower. Titles like the upcoming Assassin's Creed VR and The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 will help showcase what next-gen standalone VR can achieve. With the improved Snapdragon XR2 platform, expect more detailed works, longer draw distances, richer lighting effects, and smoother performance. Ports of hit PC VR games like Resident Evil 4 and Medal of Honor could look even more visually impressive running natively on Quest 3. And with the steady maturation of VR gaming, we may see some exclusive new IPs that really showcase the Quest 3's capabilities in ways not possible before. The future of AAA VR gaming on mobile hardware is bright. Beyond the hardware itself, we may get some details on Meta's vision for the Metaverse at Connect. How will Quest 3 tie into work collaboration, social connection, and entertainment within virtual worlds? Meta teased digital legs last year to upgrade avatar embodiment. So that could resurface, and hopefully, we'll hear about upcoming VR productivity apps for task life, word processing, and scheduling. I'm really excited to see how the Quest 3 pushes standalone VR forward. No wires and easy to set up make it so convenient compared to PC VR and the features like mixed reality and improved hand tracking brings us closer to feeling fully immersed 
and present in virtual worlds. It's the next evolution point for VR accessibility and creativity. The pricing is expected to start at $499 for 128GB model based on leaks that would keep it very competitive with other headsets on the market. We are anticipating a release date before the holidays so people can get their hands on a Quest 3 this year. I can't wait to see what Meta announces. Make sure to subscribe for the latest episodes on everything Meta announces for the next generation of VR. What features or game reveal are you most hyped for? Let me know in the comments. See you at MetaConnect 2023.